Hello, and welcome to our teaser talk about the paper MONKEY, which stands for Optimal Navigable Key Value Store. Over the past few decades, the price of secondary storage has decreased at an exponential rate with respect to time, and this led to an increase in the proportion of insertions and updates in application workloads. Overall, these trends led to a need for more write-optimized database structures. To address this need, LSM trees, or log-structured merge trees, were invented in 1996, and today we're seeing a, an explosion in the number of key value stores that use LSM trees as a storage engine. So, these LSM tree-based key value stores, what do they really look like from the inside? The main design principle that these systems follow is to avoid accessing secondary storage for every single update or insertion, and instead to buffer all updates and insertions in main memory. Whenever this buffer fills up, we sort all of its entries by key, and we flush them as sorted arrays into secondary storage. To avoid accumulating runs indefinitely, uh, we occasionally merge them in the background to bound their overall number, and we do so using sort merge operations. Because we always merge runs of similar sizes at the same level, we end up with a logarithmic number of runs, and we organize them into a logarithmic number of levels. And these levels have exponentially increasing capacities. In order to search for a key, we start by looking for it in the buffer, and then we search the different runs from smallest to largest until we find the key we're looking for. And to help us with the search, key value stores store arrays of fence pointers in main memory, and these fence pointers store min-max information about the keys in every disk block of every run, and they allow us to access the relevant page in every run using just one direct I.O. To speed up search even more, key value stores contain uh, bloom filters in main memory, which allow us to probabilistically skip runs that do not contain the key that we're looking for. In general, these bloom filters might return a true negative, which is great because uh, that allows us to skip probing a run that does not contain the key we're looking for, so we save one I.O. and improve performance. They might return a false positive, which is not so good for performance because we issue an I.O. to a run that does not contain the key we're looking for. Or they might return a true positive, in which case we find the key we're looking for and the lookup terminates. There are some interesting performance cost trade-offs in this space. In particular, the bigger we set the bloom filters to be, the fewer false positives we get during runtime, and so the cheaper a lookup cost becomes. This creates a main memory versus lookup cost trade-off. Moreover, the more aggressive we are about merging runs during runtime, the higher the amortized cost of update becomes, but the less runs we have to probe during lookups. And so this creates a lookup cost versus updates trade-off. Overall, there are three performance cost metrics that we can trade off against each other, namely main memory, update cost, and lookup cost, and the question is how to do so. To visualize the relationship, we can plot a projection of the trade-off space. That is, for a fixed amount of main memory, existing systems fall along a trade-off curve between lookup cost and update cost. We can move along this curve by merging more or less greedily. And we can also shift this curve up and down by changing the amount of main memory allocated to the system. We identify two problems in this trade-off space. The first is suboptimal bloom filter allocation. That is, we show that for a fixed amount of main memory, there is a trade-off curve that dominates the one that existing systems fall on. We call it the Pareto frontier, or the curve beyond which lookup costs cannot be improved without also harming update cost, and vice versa. The reason that existing systems do not fall on the Pareto curve is that they allocate main memory suboptimally among their bloom filters. The second problem is design space navigation, or in other words, how do we strike the best balance between update cost, lookup cost, and main memory for a particular application? For instance, what would be the precise impact of decreasing or increasing the amount of main memory in the system? Or how can we find the best balance between lookup cost and update cost that maximizes throughput for a particular application? To address these problems, we introduce Monkey, which stands for Optimal Navigable Key Value Store. Monkey addresses the above-mentioned problems using the following insights and steps. Firstly, we observe that existing systems set the same false positive rate to all their bloom filters. Our insight is that lookup cost is proportional to the sum of false positive rates for all filters, yet setting a fixed false positive rate for all filters does not minimize the sum. To address this, we optimize the allocation of main memory among the bloom filters to minimize lookup cost. We show that this achieves an asymptotic win, and we further develop a precise closed form expression that enables trading off main memory against lookup cost. Next, we observe that every existing key value store uses a fixed merge policy, but it is unclear what the performance implications of this policy are with respect to a particular application workload and hardware. 
Our insight is that the merge policy can actually be set to assume any performance characteristics between those of a write-optimized log, a read-optimized sorted array, or anything in between. And so navigating the merge policy is critical for optimizing performance. Therefore, we model update cost and lookup cost with respect to the merge policy, and we use this model to find the best balance that maximizes throughput for a particular application, workload, and hardware. Overall, we observed that existing key value stores strike an ad hoc suboptimal trade off between lookup cost, update cost, and main memory. We provide a framework for reasoning and optimizing these trade offs. We show that Monkey is tuned along the Pareto frontier due to the Bloom filter optimization and that it therefore dominates existing systems for any tuning. We further show how to navigate the Pareto curve using the merge policy to find the balance between lookup cost and update cost that maximizes application throughput for a particular application workload and hardware. Our framework enables asking what-if design questions and finding the impact of different design decisions on performance. Thanks very much for listening, and we invite you next to check out the full talk and the paper.